Aggressive men who do something very special in their spare time. The guys from Blood Bikes. Keith, explain to us a little bit about how Blood Bikes came about. Well, myself and my father-in-law were over in uh, Birmingham a couple of years ago at the motorbike show and there was a stand there for Blood Bikes based over in the UK. Um, we got speaking to a few of the members over there and we thought this was a good idea. Sometime later we went researching the idea over here and we found out that there was a Blood Bike group based in Galway uh, which was in the middle of being established. Um, we spoke with them and they gave us a bit of guidance. Then we moved forward into another blood bike group in Dublin. Uh, we got involved with them, gained more experience and then decided to set up our blood bike group based up in the, the Leinster area based in Kildare. And exactly what is blood bikes? What we do, it's a voluntary service, um, manned, and we operate motorcycles and we deliver blood, blood products, um, breast uh, milk, um, other components of products that hospitals want. We do it on a voluntary basis, either between hospitals or whatever the hospital's looking for to be collected or picked up. And why, explain to me why a bike would be needed, Is, isn't there hospital vehicles for this? There are, there are ambulance there, but if you can imagine, a uh, bike takes up much less space than an ambulance. Um, we do it because it's going to save the HSA money, it's going to save the ambulance service money. If an ambulance has to go out and pick up a small uh, amount of blood products, um, we can successfully fit it into the panniers of our bike or onto the specially adapted boxes that we have. And it means then that you're taking an ambulance off, um, or you're not taking an ambulance off road, you're, you're saving an ambulance from having to go out and pick up a small product, whereas they can be then used for either patient transport or for more serious cases. As chairman for Blood Bikes Leinster, what exactly is your role within the organisation? I look after uh, the day-to-day -day running of, the, of Blood Bike Leinster. I organise the fundraising, I organise the website, uh, I organise the monies uh, coming in and going out that has to be paid for different things. Um, I organise the, the bikes, um, the servicing of the bikes, uh, the, uh, the upkeep of them, um, the, the road tax and all that sort of insurance. That's basically it. I look after. I also look after the, the lads as well, like and the volunteers. So they, when they send in their applications, I get them, I get their vetting forms, I bring them down to the vetting office and get them to lead them in for a vetting and that, that's basically what I do. Gordon, as Secretary for Blood Bikes Leinster, what exactly is your role? Uh, I communicate uh, all of our activities to our volunteers and coordinate where they are and I coordinate our fundraising as well. I make sure that all the volunteers know when we're fundraising and, and where it is and where they have to be at the time, you know. Uh, I also spend a lot of time writing letters and communicating with companies and basically begging for money and for sponsorship for things, you know, and, and, and it's a hard road trying to, trying to get sponsorship for companies in, in the current climate. And exactly what would you need sponsorship for? Well, we have about 25,000 euros worth of equipment at the moment. That includes bikes and specialists uh, carrying equipment for carrying uh, the stuff that we carry from hospitals. Uh, we need jackets, we need helmets, we need tyres for the bikes, we need the bikes to be serviced. We need, we need so much stuff that, that it, it takes up a lot of money. So. How many riders are within the organisation? 
Uh, in Blue Bike Lancer alone, we'd have between 25 to 30 riders. Uh, in a given week, you would have um, five, five riders on Monday to Friday, uh, from 7 uh, p.m. to 7 a.m. And on a, on a Friday till uh, Monday morning, from 7 um, p.m. on Friday till 7 a.m. Monday morning, you would probably have another three or maybe four riders that would cover the weekend, because we do a full 24-hour cover over the weekend, bank holidays, Christmas, etc. Um, so we would have probably 10, I'd say maybe uh, over the whole of, of the course of the week. So we would break that up over the over the four weeks, so that the people would get a break that they wouldn't be on all the time as well, you know. And how is all this funded? It's, uh, it's, it's self-funded. What we have to do is we have to go out and we have to do collections. We have to do bikepacking. We don't get any government funding from anybody. So we have to um, literally go out to a shopping centre, have the bike on a stand, have two or three people there on the stand with a bucket on the table and try and get people to donate money to us. We go to the supermarkets and we pack people's bags in order for us to get it. We will go to different events that would be uh, around, like um, if there was a, a rally on somewhere, we'd go to the rally, bring the bikes, bring the buckets, and do it that way. Uh, everything else is, 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 we don't get anything from, from any of the government uh, organisations, although people think that, you know, when they see the bikes there, that they're, they're uh, donated by the government, they're not. Nothing is, is donated by anybody. So if we don't go out and check the buckets, the bikes don't run on the road, and that's basically just it. That's all we have time.